Hello friends, welcome back. So in this video, I will talk about Transient API. So we use the Transient API to store our uh, cache data temporary into the database. Okay, so we generally use object cache to save our uh, data. Uh, so generally we use this uh, cache mechanism uh, to avoid performing the same uh, database query or making same API calls um, and to save our time because like when we make a database query and fetching the results and if that result is not going to you know update uh, frequently uh, and uh, and in that case we can save that whatever the results we get from the sql query we can save into the cache so that we don't have to make um, frequent database api calls whenever the data needed and similarly instead of the database query another example would be like making the http request like we are fetching some of the data from the remote api right and storing it so making uh whenever the data is needed and making the remote api call will be a time consuming sometimes or many times so instead of making it frequently we can save that result into the like cast where in the cache memory uh, for some time being right maybe like 10 minutes one hour four hours or any any time duration based on how the data uh, updates frequently right so but most of the sites many sites by default do not have object as a uh, installed uh, on the server um, so in instead of that uh, we can use a uh, wordpress provider transient api okay so transient api is the way to store the cache data into the database so transient data Transient API functions will save your uh, data into the options table, okay? And we can also set expiry time, how up to which time uh, we want to store uh, that uh, uh, transient data into the database, right? So transient API, maybe we can say like alternative of the object as a, okay? So in this video, I will give a, uh, examples how we can use a transient API. Okay, so uh, transient API provides uh, various functions. So these are the function set transient to set the transient and get transient to get the transient from the database. Okay, and this set site transient and get site transient. These two functions we can use for uh, inter multi site network setup. Okay, and similarly to delete the transient, we have delete transient and delete site transient functions. Okay. So how we can use uh, uh, this uh, functions like like I have prepared some very quick uh, or simple example. Okay, so where I have created one function called MLB get latest movies by genre. So uh, there is a genre taxonomy assigned to the movie post type, and I want to fetch a latest movies. Okay, maybe uh, I have I have statically used five movies. I want to fetch latest five movies by given genre term. Okay, so uh, in this function will accept one argument a genre term slug. So we will pass the genre term slug here okay and it will it will perform a text query and return the uh, ids of the post okay i am not fetching all the post information i'm just fetching ids okay and then ids will we will save into the uh, transient data okay so assuming that that we have like we we have a site where we have more, like more thousands of movies information we have a uh, movie post exists in our site and uh, uh, filtering by the genre taxonomy uh, will be a time consuming or it a little bit slower uh, uh, and it's taking some time right to get the to fetch the data okay so in that case what we can do like the latest movie we like probably as a like user we don't add a movies uh, like every every minutes or every hour right uh, we will add like there is no frequently we added so fetching the latest movies by the genre taxonomy term we can save it uh the data into the cached memory okay like we can cache the data and then use it uh, to display into the front end okay because we don't uh, like there is no movies will be added uh like time to time right thanks for watching see you on the next one jai wordpress